Hello, my name is Jenna, and I am a tutor at the FSW Writing Center. Welcome to Grammar Corner. Today, we're going to be talking about two little words that can give people a little struggle trying to trying to figure out the differences between the two. The only difference really is this tiny little apostrophe. How could that be a big deal? Let's figure out what it's and it's mean and how to know the difference between the two. Okay, so the difference is this a tiny little apostrophe. How can one little apostrophe change the meaning of a word? Well, let's t give some examples. So the little apostrophe you see here on the left indicates a possessive. Here's an example. The tree's branches. The tree owns the branches. The branches belong to a tree. That shows possession, all right? But we can also use the same little apostrophe for a contraction. Here's a contraction. Aren't very strong. Aren't is a combination of the words are and not. It's kind of a shortcut. Aren't is a contraction. The tree's branches, possessive, aren't very strong. Contraction. So this is two different ways you can see an apostrophe. We still haven't gotten to its and its. Just hang on. I promise we'll get there. Here's another example. The car's tire. The car owns the tire. That shows possession. Now as a contraction, doesn't hold air. Doesn't is a contraction for does and not. It's a combination of the two words. You'll notice if it did say does not, the O is missing. The apostrophe takes the place of the missing O. All right, the car's tire, possession, doesn't hold air, contraction. So this is two different ways an apostrophe might be present. So when we, when we talk about the word it's, well, it's possessive and it can be a contraction. So how do you know the difference? Let's take a look. It's branches will break. It owns the branches. That shows possession. What do you notice? There's no apostrophe. In this example, this is a possessive pronoun. And these kinds of possessive words don't use apostrophes. None of them do. All right, but the apostrophe belongs with the contraction. It's not going to survive the storm. It is not going to survive the storm. This little apostrophe now has the important job of taking the place of the missing I in is, it is. When we take out the I and form the contraction, the apostrophe holds the place of the missing letter. It's an important job for a little guy. All right, here's another example. Its pressure is low. It is a possessive pronoun, no apostrophe. And it's going flat. It is going flat. It is is a contraction, and that apostrophe must be there to hold the place of the missing I. All right, let's give it a let's give it one more review. The difference between its and its is really just the apostrophe when you look at it, but there's a big difference in meaning. It's without the apostrophe is a possessive pronoun. Possessive pronouns don't ever use apostrophes. Here are other examples. Mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours, yours, and their. None of those words have apostrophes. Its is a contraction. Remember that apostrophe holds the place of the missing I. All contractions have apostrophes. They can't exist without the apostrophe. The apostrophe holds the place of the missing letters. A contraction is always a combination of two words and always uses apostrophes. It's a shortened version of it is. Okay, let's, te let's test it and see if you can do it. When deciding it's and it's, here's a test. Replace it with it is. If it sounds great, you need a contraction. If it sounds wrong, you need a possessive pronoun. All right, here we go. Take a pick. The hungry baby bird needs its mother. Let's test the theory. Does it sound right to say the hungry baby bird needed it is mother? No, that doesn't sound right. So I don't want a contraction. I need a possessive pronoun because the baby bird owns the mother. Well, that kind of sounds weird, but the mother belongs to the baby bird. So in this case, we need a possessive pronoun, no apostrophe. One more example. It's going to need a fat, juicy worm. It is going to need a fat, juicy worm. Now that sounds right. 
that for this one, I need a contraction. It's is the way to go with the apostrophe S. If you have any more questions about your writing, please feel free to stop by the FSW Writing Center. For more information on our hours, location, and services, please visit fsw.edu backslash academic support. Have a great day.